Hey NXT, today we're talking about John chapter 8 starting in verse 31 and I don't know about you guys but there was a time in my life where I just wasn't a very good liar. I remember one time being at Jewel with my mom when I was about four years old and I stole a pack of Skittles and when I got home I went to eat those Skittles but I was so racked with guilt that I had to go tell my mom that I stole the, the, the Skittles and I remember crying and it was a whole big scene. But I just, want, I just want you to think about that time in your life where anything but truth wasn't acceptable. And in this verse, Jesus is talking about the fact that the truth has this quality that it could set you free. And on the other side, sin has a quality that it enslaves you. And so I, I think we have to ask ourselves, what areas in our life have we given ourselves over to be a slave to sin? When you're a slave, you don't get to say whether or not you do something. You do stuff when you don't even want to do it just because you, you are just in control only by that thing. That thing tells you where to go and what you have to do. But when you have truth in your life, it sets you free. It sets you free to be who you actually are. Uh, the, the verse says that it makes you a true son in, in the Father's house. So truth makes you more of who you are and sin makes you less of who you are. So what I wanna do is I wanna pray for you that you would have just the courage to look yourself in the mirror today and say, God, where is there sin in my life that has enslaved me? And how can I let your truth truly set me free? Lord, we pray that you would just give us courage to listen to you and hear your truth in our life and let it overcome the sin in our life. Pray that sin would have no root and instead your truth would truly set us free today. In Jesus' name, amen.